need like another 450 experience points to, be to go. From my lightning bolt. The yeah. Space Odyssey. <laughs> But he can't let you do that different movie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Now, what was that again? Dave. That's that. Movie? Dave, I can't let you do that, Dave. <laughs> was, that was a character's it's, name, right? Hal 9000. Yeah, 9, that was. And, and, and the reference that in airplane. But who, who was the name of the character? Was it Dave? For some reason, I think it is. Dave it's was Dave. the actor. Yeah. Okay. The, the All right, Ryan, you are a second level cleric. Um, you so now get an day. you get an additional first level spell every day. To choose. Also, your special ability does two d six damage now. Yay. Okay. Um. Hey, um go ahead. Can I yeah. choose? Can I choose one spell twice? No. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can. I oh, do. okay. Cool. Yep. Yeah. It's called cheating, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no. And go ahead for your hit hit points. Roll an eight sided dice. Add your Constitution bonus, and that is added to your hit points. Plus eighty. Yeah. Now, Josh, you're a thief, right? Yep. All right. So your hit points is a is a six sided dice plus plus constitution bonus. Seven. Yay! That's cool. I got seven too. I'm at sixteen hit points now. I win. I'm at thirteen. Finally, I can take more than two hits. Hold on one second here. Just looking something up. All right. All right, Josh, you also get 30% to add to add to, in total to your thief skills, however you however you want. Um but no skill can go higher than 95%. Okay. You can do 10, 10, and 10 into three skills, or five into six skills, or however you want to do it. I think Murph's doing math. <laughs> okay, I wrote MS. What deep skill is that? Move silently. Uh, Martin Sr.? <laughs> Masturbation specialist? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I'm going to put uh, 10 points into move silently, which puts me up to 75. Masturbate silently. <laughs> I cannot do that. <laughs> no. <laughs> I remember one out at night and the whole family. I'm going to put the other 20 into um, Hide in Shadows. Okay. Which, you know, gives, me a, which gives me a 50% yeah. Hide in you Shadows. You got this. Okay. You can do it. <laughs> I'm going to put 10% into Bill Cosby drink tactics. Mm. Wow. Yes. <laughs> Use of poison is frowned upon. <laughs> I'm going to put a 10% to my new bard class called Jared. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you a story, little girl. Let me take some pictures. All right. <laughs> oh, my. <laughs> I fucking hate sausage and cheese. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop eating it, Can't then. fucking stand it. <laughs> I mean, you don't need any more nutrition. Meat group, oh, cheese my. group, cracker group. Mm -hmm. So we are now the... <laughs> we are now the all human all the time now party since we have lost our elf fighter and our gnome um rogue type person. <laughs> he was an assassin. Well, you know that why do we gotta put labels on things? Okay, <laughs> okay Caitlin Jenner. <laughs> <clears throat> uh 
All right. They're dropping like flies. That's right. Well, they're going to hang out in the back and kind of guard your rear. Uh, we'll <laughs> have them. It's not the only thing they'll do to our rear. That's right. And they'll pack your fudge for you. <laughs> so, our last game session ended with you guys going down to, to level five of this pyramid. You had descended a metal ladder into a 20 foot by 20 foot room. On the south wall, you had discovered a secret door. You opened up that secret door and walked into the room that you discovered. This room is 50 feet across east to west and 40 feet across north to south. There is a wooden oaken door at the 20 foot mark on the south wall going from west to east. Franklin's our fucking cartographer. He's got all the maps. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> That's okay. You'll survive. This room contains a bed, a table, a chair, a lantern, and a wooden holy symbol of two intertwined snakes. The furniture is all made of wood. A hooded white robe is draped over the chair. Except for the furniture and the robe, the room appears to be empty. I think the operative word is appears to be. <laughs> so there's the robe and what else? Uh, there's a robe over the chair. There's uh -huh. a table, a bed, a lantern, and a wooden holy symbol that's two inter six. And uh, does the desk uh, have like a drawer in it or anything? <laughs> uh, let's look here. Let's let's not face that bad boy toward the camera. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, <laughs> We're all human, brother. <laughs> We're all brother. Somebody calls that presenting. Yeah. Uh, no, this yeah, this is this go. desk is more like just a plain table, but there are no drawers. It's just a writing table. Okay. Um, are we still outside of the door? Or did we come into the room? You you stepped into the room. You know you know, to see what's going on, but it's not like, you know, unless you want to, you can start milling about the whole room. Now, but was, you, there, was there another door in the room? Uh, across on the south wall, on the south wall at the 20-foot mark, going from west to east, there is a wooden oaken door. I want to investigate the desk a little bit more, like the underside, like if you reached under, there might be some kind of switch Poison or... Spike. Derringer or something <laughs> under there. Black Widow spider. Something. Okay. Shotgun on a swivel. <laughs> okay, give uh, feel around. Give me a wisdom roll. <laughs> roll for feeling around over Kevin. Five under eighteen. Don't find anything. Oh well, blah. it's nothing under there. Okay, I'm gonna could, the, could a robe on, over a chair be trapped? Could be, but I guess. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go check the robe on the chair. As a okay, what are you... Is, eh? I mean, are you just going to look at it? Are you going to lift it up? Or what are you going to try to do? Oh, shit. Uh, yeah, he's getting you into the committing here. <laughs> yeah, um, you know, this is kind of a cursory look or what? I'm going to detect traps. <laughs> <laughs> okay. On, on, a, on a robe? Just, you know. A cursory look? Yeah, just you know, I'm gonna detect traps on the on the robe and the chair. To see, make sure. Just kind that... of looking around. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I need a percentile dice for that. Mm -hmm. Where's my percentile? There's one of them. There's the other one. Twenty-one under seventy-five. Okay. Now well, you don't see any traps, man. It looks pretty cool to you. So I'm gonna pick up the robe. Put that shit on. Okay. Look, in, look in the pockets. You know. Okay. Roll a twenty-sided dice, please. Why? <laughs> Just roll instead of dice, please. Do I have to? Roll to save versus breath weapon. <laughs> I got a six. Kind of well. You got a six? Uh huh. Oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well. <laughs> All right. I'm not going to be using that dice anymore tonight. <laughs> um. Josh, I'm going to. Do you have your phone on you? I do. 
Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna go outside, have a cigarette, and I'm gonna call you on your phone. And I'm gonna tell you what's going on. Okay. All right. I thought I was special. Well, you are. It's <laughs> yeah. a different kind of special. And like a like a miniaturized bus sort of special. Padded helmet special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that one. We can go split a cigarette if you want. Right, let's do it. Hey, Murph. Manu manu. Manu manu. Sound like Farmer Friend. We got a room out room. And I can still pray, right? Okay, so... Um Darius was the head of the cult of Sargon. Didn't even agree with me, but now I got that right. Okay. Sounds very. No, I think I can. I think I can do that. Awesome. All right. Somebody needs to go get Ryan and John. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I think they did. Oh, just a sec, Trevino. Okay, we'll go out too then. All right, cool. We'll be right back. Bye.
right then. That is certainly interesting. <laughs> Did you catch any of that? Hey, Murph. Oh, wait, you're not there. Uh, he went to smoke. What a bastard. He went to smoke a cigar. Smoking's cool, man. Everybody in school. If you can't handle me spitting out song lyrics that are relevant to the conversation, we can't be friends. Unfriend me now. <laughs> That's topical. It's like that ointment I had to take that one. <laughs> that much more. Now it's good. <laughs> practice. Mm. Sorry. I get a little, uh... You don't need that much practice. I'm a little overzealous. <laughs> overzealous. I do. How do you know? He's now a female. That cat's been out of the bag for a while. No, he identifies. That's it, right? I don't want to hurt any feelings out there. That's even good. I don't know if he's listed a shirt. That's a cat that obviously clawed his head out of the box. And a dog next to him, like an apartment setting. Ringing a bell, and uh, the caption would be like, "All the signs are still there." Bad luck, though. Do you know what I mean? Alright, where's the tree? Mm -hmm. Look at this. I rang the bell like twenty times. Where's the damn food?
for one of those? Good answer. Yes. Lady's choice, man. Come on. Survey says. I'm sorry, but I don't dig Steve Harvey as the family food guy. He's fine. I don't know. It's your big floppy ears, huh? I prefer the guy that tried to fill up the contestants at oh, yeah, every opportunity. Late 70s? Mm hmm. Full show. Murph. Murph. That's why we don't have a studio audience. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Except for Tim and Donna. Yeah. Murph. And she got built up. She did. Who? Donna. What? Tim. On the show? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Real quick. I missed that part. David. <coughs> Your presence is requested. Hello. Is anybody there? Anybody? Conan, what is best in life? <laughs> Destroying your enemies. Hello. You see the drill before you and hear the lamentations of the wind. Hi, Murph. Hello. Uh, oh, wow. Hello. Mm, we've been waiting for you. Is this an intervention? Come on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All right. So I don't know if Josh filled you in or nope. didn't. Nope. So. Okay, good. So you see Josh pick up the cloak, kind of looks at it and sets it back down. What else are you guys going to do? Very anticlimactic. Uh, I don't know. I would ask Josh's character if he found anything with the coat. None of it. We can ask his character, hey, who called you right now? <laughs> yeah. None of it would be yours. Huh? None of what? Yeah, none of what? What what is in this coat belongs to me. Why does it belong to you? You just found it. No, I am the owner of this coat. No. Oh. <laughs> then why did you set it back down? Why Would you, you mind expanding on? on that? This is my chair. Are you the lord of this domain? I am the lord. I am not the lord of anything. I am the lord's follower. Well, who's the Lord? Usar McGarris? Yes, correct. Conviction. <laughs> I just had to make sure that I, because I was, I was typing really fast. <laughs> it's very hard to spell, it's very hard to pronounce, but yeah. Usar McGarris? Spelled, yeah, I can uh, spell it for you here. It's spelled U-S-A-M-I-G-A-R-A-S. <laughs> I was close. Yep, close enough. We know who it is. Cool. We'll just call him the Big U. The g <laughs> My God is the Big U. Uther Lightbringer? Uther McGarris. <laughs> what does my God believe in? Ah. Uh, <laughs> all right, stand by. I need, I need to look this up here. Make sure I get it right. I guess I should have asked that on the phone call, but it just occurred to me. So. No, that's all right. That's all right. Losing Stand by. Tits and wine. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, tsh, where the fuck is it? Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Dave okay. Swear. The big U is the god of healing, messengers, and thieves. They <laughs> are. <laughs> sorry. Uh, they tend to be neutral. They have a lot of magic users in their in their cult. They tend to wear silver masks with his face on it, which is a small, which is the face of a child, okay. um, the smiling child. Um, the mages in this cult kind of carry trouble. silver daggers and wear rainbow-colored robes. <laughs> <laughs> that's the mages. Hey. Yeah, that's so he identifies as a follower of this guy. 
<laughs> yep. Uh, the right palm it, um, is marked with a small silver uh, five-pointed star. You have a rainbow. Uh, mages and clerics, mages uh, and clerics and thieves, elves and magic users, they all get along, but they tend to look down upon fighters, dwarves and halflings. Um, Who doesn't look they, down on They worship the big <laughs> U on certain days when the heavenly stars and planets are in the right position, so they're big into astronomy. Um, and yeah, that's about it. As long as you said astronomy and not astrology. What's my alignment, by the way? Neutral? Um, I don't remember. Oh, yours, Demetrius? Uh, and mine. Uh, no, you're actually a lawful cleric. Lawful? Uh, so you're a lawful neutral. <laughs> Good little two shoes. <clears throat> I am Demetrius. I am the head cleric of Ursa Megaris. But y up till now, you've been whatever Josh's character's name was. <laughs> Slato Hand. Yeah. Slato Hand. <laughs> Wordplay. <laughs> I would never name a character in Wordplay. <laughs> That's I so, so cliche. My twin brother was the head cleric of Zargon. But where did Slato Hand go? Slato Hand is in here. In here, holy shit! Me, myself, and Irene, and shit. But you will not see him. Why not? He was like he was. He was my friend. I was murdered by my brother Darius, the head cleric of Zargon. Oh God! Are you not going to leave him until we find like resolve your earthly business or something? Like the hand of Zul. <laughs> you are correct, cleric. Oh shit! Hit the nail on the head, right on. Okay. Um. Can you? Lay hands on me. <laughs> You're disgusting. I know. Do your goals align with ours? <laughs> we shall see. Now, see, that's where we're going to have an issue. Because as a cleric, <laughs> I, I don't know if uh, I can trust a guy, you know, at least as far as uh, we shall see, you know. Hey, Ryan, give me a wisdom roll. No. <laughs> yes. <laughs> 10 under 18, foe. All right, very good. Um, you get the feeling that this, that the big U is base, is sort of like Gorm, Gorm, where he's based upon a god from the Greek pantheon um, that would be friendly to Zeus. You also get a feeling that this cleric you're talking to is a lot more um, seasoned and aware and closer to his god than, say, you are currently right now. Nobody's closer to Zeus than I am. <laughs> he's uh, he's a little more. Uh, he's been around a little bit longer. Has you know a little bit more knowledge. It so he doesn't. He doesn't know me. He doesn't know what I'm about. <laughs> he actually might. <laughs> okay. So What's the holy symbol about, by the way? The snakes? Is that my holy symbol? Uh, yes, it is, actually. The intertwined snakes is the, is the symbol of the big U. So yeah. I, I take the holy symbol and put it around my neck. All right. In Greek mythology, wasn't that Caduceus? Uh, it was called a Cadmius, I think, but it Cadmius, was the symbol. Okay. It, but it was the symbol of Mercury. I was on the right fucking track. I, <laughs> I, I see that my host carried a bladed weapon. <laughs> yeah, I'm guessing that's getting tossed by the wayside, huh? My God will allow me to use the bladed weapon since I occupy somebody who has been trained in it. Well, that's just peachy. <laughs> <laughs> Do I know of anything else that may be in my room? Like any secrets or... Um, yeah, where'd you hide your porn? Yes, yes <laughs> you would know about another secret door. Also, uh, Demetrius would know the history of this place as well. I don't know if that's important or not. That's really interesting. <laughs> but, so what's, what's in my secret door? There is another secret door on the north wall <laughs> at the 10-foot mark going from west to east. It is, you know, it's a 20 foot by 20 foot secret room, and it's where you kept a lot of your valuables. Valuables. So give me a minute. I need to retrieve my things. 
Yeah, pretty yourself up. Yeah. So I'm gonna go into that room. <laughs> let, let, let me. I gotta go powder my nose. Okay. <laughs> that's powdering your nose. Yeah, that's good. Whatever the corollary for blow is. So what do I know of that's in my room that I retrieve? <laughs> All right. You open up the secret door, and it is a 20 foot by 20 foot room. Along the north wall, there is what looks like, uh, well, for one thing, a slight breeze stirs in the room when the door is open. Well, that's um, I like my air conditioning. Yes. You see a large padlocked wooden chest sits near the north wall of the room. Behind the chest is a huge tapestry of a desert scene. And you know inside that chest would be your valuables. But it's kind of fuzzy on what they might be. Where's my key? Is it in my robe? It's who knows. You were you were murdered years ago, so who knows what may have happened to it. So I'm gonna check my robe for my key. Just that guys, I forgot my keys. <laughs> <laughs> now nope, don't find one. So I don't know where my goddamn key is? That's right. You're a fighter. I'm a frail little guy. I can't help you. You're a fighter. I need you to break my lock. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Well, all right, then. He's got his mouth full of maize. Mm -hmm. All right, so, <laughs> so it's so so just Dave and Josh are in the room. I, oh shit! I, I followed as well. <laughs> Wait, 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 that might not be a good idea. I, I mean, no. It's wait, just the I would know if it was trapped, right? If it was trapped at the time, who knows? It's been a number of years since you've uh, been killed. But it's my shit. I would have trapped it, right? It, no? It was your shit at one time. <laughs> Fuck. It's been a long time. You've been out of it, you know? You've been hidden. You've been in that robe for a while. <laughs> you've been out the game, fam. You know, it's kind of like Spawn, you know? He died, and then he came back like a number of years later, and the world had changed. Wait, this this Spawn, is that player knowledge? <laughs> oh, that's probably from uh, McFarlane. <laughs> okay, you know what? I tell you what. Everybody get out of the room. <laughs> Gladly. I wasn't even in there, motherfucker. I wasn't, <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't even in there with you, motherfuckers. <laughs> and, I'm, uh, and I'm going to try to um, break the lock. All right. Breaking a lot. Hmm. All right, roll for initiative, please. Yeah, you, Josh. That body, that body that you inhabit is a thing. Just sound like you probably pick it. Six plus two, <laughs> eight. <clears throat> All right. As a cleric, do you get that bonus? As you as you approach the chest, the tapestry begins to start moving. Um. And like like a strong breeze is coming behind it, and then it flies off the wall, trying to attack you. You get to attack it first as it's flying towards you. In a very high speed. Um, can I like yell at it? You know, stop. You know, Demetrius sure. orders you to stop. Alakazam. Is that what you're gonna do? I'm gonna try. All right. You hold out your hand and you say, yeah, I, think that's right. I, Demetrius, order you to stop. What's your armor class? <laughs> uh, just a sec. It would be your, yeah, it's the same. Four. All right. Uh, this thing, ooh. Uh, hold on. As it flies towards you, it tries to look like it tries to envelop your body, but you're able to dodge a couple of its swipes at you, but if one hits you on the side of the head, uh, doing three points of damage to you. As it kind of hits you hard, you get a feeling this is not an inanimate object, but this is a living creature. 
Hey guys, I could use your fucking help in here. What? <laughs> what? Now you need it. Who, who's who's asking? Did Dimitri your character say that or did you? Hand? Demetrius, get your asses in here. <laughs> exactly who am I speaking to right now? All right, so I'm gonna need you three as a group to roll initiative. I need Josh to roll initiative separately. Again? Uh, yes. Who has the biggest bonus? I have 15 decks, no bonus. I got a five. I have a total one. Then roll. Three. All right, Josh, what do you want to do first? Um, I'm going to take my short sword and swipe at it. <laughs> All right, <laughs> give me a hit. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> um, sixteen. Shit. Hold on. Ah, my friend just died. Ah, oh, here we go. All right, 16? Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, that hits. Give me damage. Which is a... What Short is... sword should be a 1d6 plus your strength bonus. 1d6? So it's huh? a small small to medium creature? Yes. Four damage. Depends All right. The window. So is this the actual curtain you're fighting as we walk in? <laughs> or is it a tapestry. creature that was behind the curtain? No, it's tapestry. Okay. Okay, it's still up. <clears throat> okay, you is it three. Tattered? Uh, no. You actually it feels like you you dug into some soft flesh, and you see like some red blood come out from it. From the tapestry? Yes. I'm gonna kill the magic carpet. <laughs> <laughs> but we could fly it. Around. Who's next? You know. three get to go next. Okay. I'm not gonna hurt the damn thing with a mace. Um, you beat the dust out of carpets. Wow. Uh, okay. I'm about to swing a fucking club at this carpet. Mace. <laughs> Mace. All right. Give me a to hit roll. Come on, baby. Uh, 13s? 13. You're a second level clerk. Fuck yes. Okay. That hits. Give me damage. Yeah, motherfucker. <laughs> wow, you can hit a carpet. Man, I know. You're... <laughs> That's right. Uh, That's all he can hit is the carpet. When it's dead, he can look it. <laughs> I got eight. Eight points of damage, all yeah, right? Yeah, bitch. Trevenius? All right, as you hit it, Ryan, it feels like you hit... A soft, fleshy beast, um, like a thud, and it looks like a dark spot appears on it, like a bruise. From the underside, all of a sudden, a like a jaw opens up with teeth, kind of roars, and then it closes back up. It's a goddamn mimic. Okay, who else is gonna go next? I think Trevenius is I'm right there. God knows. Trevenius. Venus Extraordinarius. Oh! oh! What did we get? A 20 or a 1? He rolled 20. a 20! He rolled a 20. Oh, right. It would have been groans of disappointment. <laughs> that was almost like skeet level excitement. Fuck that shit up, brother. <laughs> All right, Dave, and what type of weapon were you using? A magical everything. An axe, right? I don't remember, probably. Uh, he's got a hand. He's got a, he's got a Man, hand. Man, I was bitch slapping it. <laughs> I was using the back of my hand. Using the back of my hand. The magical hand of oh, Hold on. The pimp hand. I think he's got a throwing axe. I think we got you a throwing axe. I think he We're using the back of your hand. <laughs> That's discipline. Throw a punch. I know, right? That, this is abuse, Dave. That's right? Abuse. That's, That's abuse. <laughs> That's All right, then this will be a slash critical. Go ahead and roll percentile for me, please. Uh, yeah, ten and a two. All right. All right. So twelve. Yeah. No. Okay. Give me, uh, give me damage from your axe. Mm. That's a five on the dice. I think okay. Is. And what's your, and what's your strength two? So seven points. 
and you can tell as you swing into it, 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 it feels like a fleshy monster. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it feels semi-moist. All right, so Dave, you slash at it. You must have hit an artery or something. Blood splurts out. Mine you is. <laughs> you wound it as it lets out this unearthly squeal. It's still alive, but its lifeblood is pumping out every turn. Nice. So it's going to be taking damage. This is the toughest carpet I've ever faced. <laughs> um, so to be clear, I hit their artery. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, John. I think I'm going to magic missile at sure? the tapestry. Are you sure you want to do that? Um, it's pretty, <laughs> it's pretty much my only option at this okay. juncture. You can swing your staff. Just ask it. Yeah, because I so want it to laugh at me. Hit it with a stick. <laughs> All right, give me damage. Yes, Ooh, five. Yeah. Fuck yeah. All yeah. right. You healed it for five points. <laughs> <laughs> no, magic damage works best on tapestries. Everybody knows that. I mean, haven't you watched Prince of Persia? All right. Rogue, I guess. I don't know. Okay. You, as the green bolt flies out from your hand, impacts on the thing as it gives another squeal. This thing is pissed off now. <laughs> squeal like a pig. I piss it off. He's the one that critted it. <laughs> Two, three, four. How dare you hit All right, magic mage. It looks at you as it kind of faces you. What is your armor class? I did the least amount of damage. <laughs> I call shenanigans. <laughs> um, he asked you if you were sure. Nine. Okay. That's your armor class? Yes. <clears throat> that's not your hit points? No, that's my armor class. <laughs> <laughs> my hit points is less. He's wearing rags, man. Oh my god. I'm sorry. This. This thing has a movement of 20, so it can go this entire length of this room. Well, well, you it flies through the room, John, right towards you, attempting to envelop you within its folds. <laughs> it's, it's trying to hug me. <laughs> it's trying to hug me. Inappropriate to stranger danger. All right. <laughs> the first one, the first, uh, it gets three swipes on you. If all three of them hit, you're enveloped. However, the first one misses, but the other Thank two you. hit. And, and I'm dead on the first one. <laughs> Doing a total of six points of damage to you. I'm unconscious. Holy How ball. many hit points do you have? Six. Oh, fuck. You got knocked out by a rug. You got knocked the fuck out, man! <laughs> Bye, Felicia. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. All right. All right. I'm glad I helped, guys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nap. <laughs> All right, initiative. You guys are rolling as a group now. Seven. Except for the mage, of course. All right, you get to go first. What do you want to do? I'm gonna take another swipe at this fucking carpet that's all up in my shit. Okay. Said like a true cleric. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Twelve. You hit. Is that like Claire Bonnet? Give me damage. I think so. Five. All right. What did I do? All right, it is still up. Who's next? I'm going to go ahead and be unconscious. Really this round. <laughs> oh, you didn't get two swipes last time. You get two swipes this time. Oh, yeah. it's two swipes this time. Yep. Somebody was cheating. <laughs> That's a 19 on the dice. Oh, damn. All right. You're on fire. It's Okay, go ahead and give me damage. Six on the dice. Plus two. Oh, shit, Plus dude. That's eight points. Dude, this wow. stupid has more hit points than a fucking, like... The wolf. wolf. <laughs> yeah. All right, get another attack. Well, it was a two. <laughs> <laughs> what was that? It was a two. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that one, that one missed, though. Wow. Ryan, it is now up to you. You see that the beast is wounded. Oh, no. This thing was, was false witness. It was pretending to be a harmless tapestry. It is actually a vile monster. 
What? And your other companions have already attacked. One has fallen. You, you what are you going to do? A painting on the wall didn't kill me. It was actually a monster. It's a carpet. <laughs> so I think I'm going to hit it with my mace. Carpet. All right. <clears throat> Give me a to hit roll. Lady. Uh, 11. <laughs> what? 11. Ow. Oh, let me look here. Ah. Oh. Okay, that hits. Yeah, fun bags. Um, <laughs> it must be a huge this topic. thing does not have a high armor class. <laughs> Neither did I. Five. Five damage. Five. Ah, oh, shit. Lead. I sure would like for it to be dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Just saying. So say we all. Hey. That's what she says. That is what she says. That's what she wrote. All right. Mm hmm you do another swipe, hitting it solid right below where its jaw had has, had appeared. It staggers for a little bit, and then it lunges for you. But as it lunges through the air, you more blood splurts out from the wound that Dave's character had wounded it, and it falls right at your feet in a fleshy heap. Yeah. It no longer looks like a tapestry, but it looks like a thin type of fleshy monster, you know, leathery. Gigantic tapeworm. <laughs> Fucking, that's nasty. That's nasty. Like it. that's, that's nasty. nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cure light wounds on my um, new companion. Alright. Which uh, is a 1d8, right? Plus one? I believe so, yeah. Go for Psh. it. You don't know Psh. cleric stuff. <laughs> Seven. So you're fully healed. You're back to full. You're healed. <laughs> can, can, can I can I take the full seven? <laughs> yeah. oh. Can you take the full seven? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, Inches or centimeters? <laughs> oh wow! <laughs> you can answer, John. <laughs> that was like a mental right there. Yeah. I just invited that shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I, I gotta write that down. Famous quotes to our role play. Can I take yeah. the full seven. Can I take the full seven. Woo! Woo! <laughs> well, let me buy you a drink, big boy. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Call me Bill. <laughs> wow. All right. <laughs> so you just you just healed your magic user. What else you guys? I'm gonna loot do? that thing's corpse because it has money and I know it. Um. Okay. <laughs> you. Pat it down, looking for things. It just looks like a dead, fleshy pancake. What the fuck was that? I don't know. Oh, I bet you don't. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to try to break the lock on my um, massive chest. Right. <laughs> Since I took a dirt nap, do I get spell points back? Uh, no. no. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it wasn't a long enough nap. Uh, <laughs> Josh, give me a to hit roll just to make sure you don't I, hurt yeah. yourself while you do this. Or open up another. Uh, fourteen. Okay, you end up busting the lock open. Uh, it was relatively easy to do. Do you open Stop. up the chest? You know better. Than I that. can't detect traps on it, so I'm opening up the chest. Stop. Okay, you sure you want to do that? Yep. Okay. Um, you open it up. You find a extremely large amount of coins in this chest. Mm -hmm. All right, let me get yes. my golden stuff up. Just that. <laughs> All right. Uh, if you take the time to count it, there are uh, there is approximately three thousand electrum pieces and five thousand gold pieces inside. Fuck yeah! Hell yeah! Also, welcome to the party, cleric. <laughs> <laughs> There is also a vial filled with a clear liquid. Semen. I mean, I should there, know what that is, right? It's, it's not you don't seem to remember, no. That memory of yours. Oh, no shit. Uh, I'm going to take a little taste of it. Can I take a little taste of it? Yeah. You take a taste of it, and Josh dis uh, disappears from view from you guys for just a couple seconds, and then he reappears. Where did Josh? Where that? Oh, there he is. <laughs> It's a it's a potion of invisibility. All right. Do I see anything else? Yes, you do. There is also a very finely made suit 
of the human sized chain mail, and there is a very finely made dagger. Do I know anything about this uh, chain mail or dagger? If it's like plus one? Guess, no. no, and you don't you recognize the stuff. Okay, I put the dagger in my belt and I offer the chain mail to. Um, the fighter that I supposedly don't like because of my um, religion, but whatever. Could it be a, John, a silver? Could it be a silver dagger? John, what's John? What spells do you have? Um, magic missile and read magic, light. magic missile, write, detect magic, and hold portal. Okay. Okay, so you didn't take identify, did you? No, not yet. Fucker. Okay, but as a normal person, could we tell if that dagger is silver? Uh, yeah, it doesn't look silver. Okay. But it is very finely made. I stick it in my belt since my, you know, I know that my compatriot in my head is a thief. <clears throat> okay. And do you give the chain mail to David? I give the chain mail to David. Hey, David, what type of armor are you wearing right now? Uh, I have no idea. Uh, never got what, that far. Yeah, what was your armor class? class? We, didn't, we didn't get all the details. Okay, what is your armor class right now? Two. Two. So you probably got plate mail and a shield, or... Let's see. Yeah, because it would have to be plate mail and a shield to be two, unless you have a good dexterity bonus. He's got a good dexterity. What's your dexterity bonus? What's your dexterity? 16. 16? That's a plus one, right? 16 is... No, we did all kind of funny stuff. We swapped around the <laughs> and shit. So, dexterity... Well, on here was 17. Six, plus one. 16 would be minus two to his armor class. Well, that sounds awesome. So, that means it would be a floor normally, which would be chain mail and a shield. So, chances are he's probably wearing chain mail and a shield. Because you have a shield, right, David? All right. So, David, let's go under the, uh, let's go under the assumption you have a suit of chain mail and a shield. If you put on this suit of chain mail that you just found, your armor class will go to one. Mm, yeah. It's chain mail plus one is what it is. Whoa. Sounds kind of stupid. <laughs> <laughs> if it were cloth armor plus one, that would be something to find. You know, there's actually padded armor, which is only one step higher up than clothing. And it actually, in second edition D and D, it actually had a negative effect on people's view on you, because only like the lowest of the low would actually wear such armor. Wow. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. That's classism. Yeah. Oh, totally. Oh, yeah. Like that didn't exist in these days. <laughs> so now you're a one. Nice. All right. Mm -hmm. now, now, what do you guys want to do? Is there anything else in this room? Nope. I'm going to um, put on my robe. Okay. Please. Your rainbow robe. No, no it's white. Oh, Only sorry. the mages wear rainbow. And then there was a door to the south. Is that right? Wait, what are you implying? <laughs> I'm just saying, members of that. <laughs> Yes, there is a door to the south. What the hell? What the hell? One of my crazy twelve-sided, yeah. Okay, so we'll um, take the door to the south. Okay. <clears throat> that door is not locked. Is it trap? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> Is that the technical term? <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> Who's got the most hit points? There's no sign that it's, it's trapped. There, <laughs> it's, there's not like an axe blade above it that looks like it's ready to fall. 
<laughs> That's a plus. It, if you look through the keyhole, there's no shotgun on the other side pointing your way with a wire attached to the trigger. So it's... There's no string attached to the door. Wait, huh? what's a shotgun? <laughs> Boomstick. Okay. Boomstick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Um, how many hit points do you have? Ten. You have ten? All right, well, I guess I'm opening that door then. <laughs> what's that? I'm opening the door. Okay. Hello. You open the door. <clears throat> it opens up into another 50 foot by 40 foot room, same size and dimensions as Demetrius's bedroom. However, this.